the pattern on the mountain. After giving to his servant Moses instructions on how to make an ark, a table, a lampstand, and several other items he wanted the children of Israel to make, the Lord said to Moses in Exodus 25 verse 40, See that you make them according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. That's the New International Version. And in Exodus 27 verse 8, the Lord said to Moses, Make the altar hollow out of boards. It is to be made just as you were shown on the mountain. Again, that's the New International Version. Every born-again Christian is expected to serve God in one area or the other. Many are even called to serve in more than one area. Now, it's not uncommon to see Christians plug themselves wherever they feel like serving in God's vineyard. So we see many who are serving as pastors when God would have preferred for them to be ushers, singers, or Sunday school teachers. What we are expected to do, though, is seek God's face and let him tell us where exactly he has chosen us to serve. Our focus here is on those who have asked for and received a bleeding regarding where God wants to use them in his vineyard. The Lord told Moses what should be done and clearly how it should be done. Some Christians know what God wants them to do for him, but never ask him how he wants it done. In some cases, this is because they feel too lazy to pay the price to hear what God has to say. Some others are too impatient to wait and hear from the Lord. Once they pray for a given period of time and don't receive anything from the Lord, they become frustrated and stop praying. Then they decide on their own how the work should be done. Some people don't see any reason to ask God how his work should proceed because they prefer to copy the methods used by others, which is sometimes easier to do than waiting upon the Lord. Some actually take the trouble to ask and receive the pattern for doing God's work, but fail to follow it. For some, it is because they prefer the pattern that someone else is using. What such people forget is that the fact that God gave a particular blueprint to someone who has their type of calling and it is working for him or her doesn't mean it will work for them. Even if it seems to work, there's no way one can accomplish as much as God wants him or her to using steps that are not being dictated by his Holy Spirit. Some people won't use their God-given pattern because it appears too difficult to follow. However, if God gives you a pattern, he can help you use it successfully and effectively. All you need to do is believe the Lord for wisdom to be able to make use of it. Some servants of God have their own idea of how God's work should be done, so they neglect his pattern. There are also Christians who throw aside the pattern that God gave them because they received a suggestion from someone they believe they must not disobey. This sometimes happens because people don't want to lose whatever they are gaining from these entities. The truth is, though, that any gift you cannot receive except you disobey God is not a blessing, and we should choose to do without it. Exodus 31 verses 1 to 6. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. And in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee. That's the King James Version. God doesn't stop at calling us to serve him and giving us the pattern for the work and the anointing and grace needed. He also gives us the people that he wants to work with us where necessary. A lot of times, however, Christians make the mistake of choosing their ministry helpers on their own instead of allowing God to make his will known regarding this. Some choose their friends, biological siblings who are in the ministry, or people they know who have been working very hard for the Lord over the years. Meanwhile, God knows who he has called and equipped to help us with each assignment, just like he called Bezalel and Aholiab to accomplish the tasks he gave Moses. The result of allowing God to show you the people he has personally chosen and ordained to work with you is clearly shown in Exodus 39 verses 42 and 43. The Israelites had done all the work just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Moses inspected the work and saw that they had done it just as the Lord had commanded. So Moses blessed them. That's the New International Version. Anyone the Lord gives you as a helper will understand your vision, mission, goal, and so on and with the help of the Holy Spirit, work with you to achieve them. Make sure the pattern you are working with in God's service and the people you've surrounded yourself with as helpers are actually given to you by the Lord. 
May the Lord give us his direction in Jesus' name. Amen.